Coming up on this episode of Naya TV, Ken Goes Green with Ely Hawk VIP Steel. It is 100% ecologically friendly. Bushy checks out the latest lever action cartridge with federal premium hammer down. Price is great, really spectacular looking cartridge. We put some of our staff through some trauma training. Hang on a minute fellas, this can't be right. Nigel makes a return. Yeah, bring back the Nige. And Keith asks his wife if he can buy a new rifle. No. No. Welcome to Naya TV. Well, it's a big show, so let's not muck about. Let's catch up with Ken as he talks about a new environmentally friendly cartridge from Ely Hawk. VIP steel with Pro Eco One. Okay, so what's so different about this cartridge compared to pretty much every other cartridge on the market? Well, it's really about this Eco Wad. So what's incredible about this is that this wad will totally dissolve in water in only 24 hours. It is 100% ecologically friendly. Now, where might you use something like this? It would be perfect if you're shooting over water, for example. Not only is it a degradable wad, but you also have the steel shot. It might be uh, stock that you are worried about consuming these wads. This is the only thing that I know on the market like this, and this is the perfect product. It has a heat sealed crimp, uh, which is very, very handy for two reasons. One, uh, they don't tend to fall apart in your pockets if you carry them a lot. And also with this wad, you don't want moisture getting into it and actually degrading it before it gets out of the cartridge. So that's the other reason for that heat sealing. So it's available in this particular cartridge in sevens only, this particular, this is more of a target load or you could use it for light game. This is a 28 gram seven or one ounce load. Now there is a game version of this cartridge as well. It comes in a 32 gram load and comes in both three and five shot. Uh, so here at NIA TV, we're not uh, apt just to just agree with everything that uh, the manufacturers say. So we thought we'd give it a little test ourselves. So in here, you'll see this is what's left of a wad that we put in here only 24 hours ago. Actually, it's less than 24 hours ago we put this in here. And as you can see, it's dissolved to nothing more than a pinkish goo in the bottom here. And I thought that somebody might like to drink it. That is amazing after 24 hours. So there it is folks, um, we have landed uh, our first shipment of these and as we speak, other than these few packets we have left in stock, they've all gone out into the marketplace. So get to your local store and pick up a packet of Ely VIP Steel Pro Eco. Recently, we upskilled our Naya range officers from basic first aid training to trauma training. Here's what they got up to. Hi, I'm Ben Davin from TACMED Australia. Today we're here doing the Range Officer First Responder Program, which is a program that has been designed bringing the lessons learnt on the battlefield into the Range Officer space to be able to save a life. This program is a two-day program that the NIA Range Officers are going through to ensure that they can respond to the preventable causes of death and holistically manage a patient in the high threat environment of a range operation. Uh, it's really important uh, for a company like NIA to have this kind of training to look after their employees, their customers and anyone that visits. It is a space that is testing weapons, selling weapons, developing capability, working with defence and other key stakeholders like law enforcement agencies. It's really important to be able to understand the care that is required if there was to be an accident or any other kind of unfortunate incident that aid is able to be re required to be delivered. This program ensures that all of the range officers are not only qualified but are confident and competent to know what to do, when to do it uh, and how to look after that patient as a human being and have a positive outcome. It's awesome to be working with such a passionate group like NIA. They do have the capability to save life. Hey, I'm Benny D from TACMED Australia and I'm here at NIA for NIA TV teaching the range officers how to respond to trauma. If you're looking for factory ammunition specifically designed for your lever action rifle, then look no further. G'day, Bushy here up in the gun room. Had a big day, but I thought I'd finish the day and tell you about something brand new Federal Premium's brought out. It's called Hammer Down. Introducing Federal Premium Hammer Down. The first ammunition truly designed to make your lever gun cycle and shoot to its full potential. Let your lever gun run with Federal Premium Hammer Down. 
So Federal Premium, as you probably know, make a massive range of ammunition. They use spear bullets, Sierra bullets, Nosla bullets, Sirocco Swift bullets, Woodley bullets. It really is premium custom ammunition. Now, they've actually gone down the road and made a cartridge specifically for lever action shooters. 3030, 4570, 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum and 45 Long Colt. So you've got three pistol-y type cartridges and a couple of rifle cartridges. Uh, they're very quiet to shoot these cartridges, even at decent levels like 4570 compared to the crack of a bottleneck 308, etc. Look, I'm just amazed the lengths they've gone to with this lever action ammunition. They basically pulled apart the cartridge and rebuilt it. They start with a federal gold medal primer. That's a bench rest rifle primer. But the nickel plated case, the first thing they started with, believe it or not, was the rim. They've redesigned the rim and patented what they've done, that by changing the dimensions just ever so slightly, it feeds 100% through every brand of lever action gun. Straight away from the factory, a lot of these rifles, when you feed something through the loading gate with a brass cartridge, you're starting to shear a little bit of brass off because honestly, they're not finished as well as they used to. Never gonna have that problem with a nickel cartridge because it's very hard, this nickel on the outside. They even searched the best propellants for the pistol type cartridges. Now, now, they're still using a really good quality propellant in the rifle ones, but they've actually managed to get more velocity out of the pistol cartridges because they're very limited in what they can do out of a rifle. So they've got enhanced propellants in those as well. The bullet's probably the best thing in the whole thing. This is their molecularly bonded bullet. They actually dropped the core of the bullet into a big bath. I've seen it done, it's quite really interesting how they do it. And it's an electrolysis process. So they actually plate the jacket onto the core of the bullet a molecule at a time. But with that process, they end up with a perfectly concentric bullet. So they're super accurate. This jacket will never come off the core of this bullet. It is molecularly bonded to it. So things like this in 300 grain 4570, you can use that for pig shooting. You can shoot buffalo with this. This bullet will not come apart. As fancy as it is, let me show you the packaging. Have a look at that. I love it. This premium cartridge, I can tell you this right now, on a dealer's shelf is about 10% dearer than our cheapest power shock. So there's hardly a price premium. So you're getting the best developed ammunition for your lever action gun, 10% more. The other thing I love about Federal Premium range in that is all this information on the back. It tells you all about it. Velocities, bullet drop. If you've got it sighted in 100, just go ahead and sight it in 100 and it'll tell you here how low it'll be at 200. Or if you're sighted in at 200, how high it'll be at 100. All that information's here. But ask your dealer about it. Not every dealer will have it. It's on our shelf, they'll be able to get it. Price is great. Really spectacular looking cartridge. Get down to your dealer and get some. Really good ammo and is gonna outperform any cartridge you've shot because of the quality of that bullet and the primer. Do you know who we haven't had on the show for a while? Any talent? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah well, well, that's true. But listen, I haven't seen Nigel around for a while. Well, that's a blessing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. All good. But listen, we had some people, you know, on the net asking, where's Nigel? And I, listen, I've heard he's working on something big at the moment, something really big. Well, I doubt it. But, but listen, why don't you guys just, mate, just find out where he is and see what he's up to. Uh, do we have to? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Uh, so Kenny, where's Nigel? Oh, I haven't no, seen no, him no, for ages. He's working on something big. Yeah, I, I don't know. What, <gasps> what the? What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Mate, have you seen your head? It's only temporary. I've been working on a new device that increases brain capacity. It makes people smarter. Look, you just push a few buttons, point it at the subject and pull the trigger. No! What have you done? Done. Mate, I'm calling my lawyer. Stop being a bunch of sooks. I mean, it's only temporary. Well, you know, 24 hours. Could be 48. Might be permanent. Night TV! Have you ever been in this situation? Hey, Dale. Hey. Just been flicking through the Nia catalogue and I wouldn't mind getting myself a new rifle. How much? About four grand. No. No. Oh, uh, yeah, that's happened to me. Yeah, me too. No, not me. No, boss of my house. <laughs> You're the boss of your house, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but listen, Keith does not give up that easily, though. Hey, Dale, back again. I'm a little further through the catalogue, and I think I could maybe upgrade my existing rifle. How much is that going to cost? 
maybe two grand. Yes. Yes! All right, here we are in the Naya Armoury. I finally got permission from the missus to upgrade my rifle. She wouldn't allow me to buy a new one, but there are plenty of things I can do with my dirty old Savage. This thing really is a tack driver. It shoots incredibly well, but the scope lets me down for long range shooting. It's an uncomfortable stock, very low cheek piece, very thin, wiry pistol grip on it and put it on the bench and it just doesn't balance very well. We're going to do some pretty major modifications to this rifle. We know that it performs well, but to make it do what I want it to do, uh, we're going to have to upgrade a few things. OK, so the plan is, first step, we're going to get rid of this tinny old stock. So the GRS Bifrost stock is what we're putting on this rifle today. Here it is here. And I do like this brown colour in the GRS. The black accents really tick it off. We've got a black scope going on the rifle. And of course, it's a black barrel in action. So I think it's going to match up really, really nicely to this GRS Bifrost. So the inletting on these Bifrost stocks is matched to the factory rifle. So in this case, I've got a, a Savage Model 10. It will accommodate most factory production rifles. They are an injection molded plastic. It's a very firm, solid material. As it is, I'm going to give it a try. Just a stock, no bedding, and uh, we'll see how it performs. My feedback that I have heard is bedding really isn't required on these uh, Bifrost. So with the adjustable length of pull, very simple press button. It's a toothed mechanism. So we just adjust it to the length that we want, lock it into place, same with our comb riser, we can raise or lower that and lock that back into place once we've got our position. We've got quick detachable uh, sling swivel points here. We've got a bipod lug, which is multi-position uh, multi on that. The stock actually comes with a little Picatinny rail if you wanted to attach any accessories to it. There's plenty of aftermarket stocks available to you at the moment. The GRS is certainly not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. You don't want to take a step back from your production stock on the rifle, so in this case, I've spent a dollar, I've done it properly. I am a huge fan of loophole optics. This here is a 8.5 to 25 by 50 in the VX3i. We've got the target style turrets on this. So no caps, I can easily adjust the scope. We have a side parallax adjustment on this rather than having a front parallax. So I don't need to lift my head over the scope to see if I need to make any adjustments. So I can do that with my head on the rifle, make my parallax adjustments there. With Leupold, unlike most rifle scopes in Australia, you can choose a reticle on this. You can even send it back to us here at night and have a different reticle positioned, different turrets fixed to it, endless opportunities with this rifle scope. I've picked this particular reticle as a fine duplex reticle because I want to do some long range target shooting with this. Ideal scope for the application and once we put it together with that GRS stock on that dirty old rifle, we're going to make something special out of it. We have the facilities here in Australia that if you happen to damage your rifle scope or something fails on it, it can be rectified fast. Just jump onto our website, visit loophole.com.au, send it into us and we can have it fixed. All right, well that's enough talk. Let's get on the tools and upgrade this beast. Okay. So we've got our old stock off the rifle. I'm going to give it a quick lick of oil under here because it hasn't been exposed for a little while. These little Hoppies number nine lubricating wipes, I use them in the armory quite a bit. They're a fantastic little thing. It saves oily rags. It's a disposable type rag. You use it once, give your rifle a little bit of a wipe over, throw it in the bin. Rip it idea. Once I've done that, put our GRS on, button it up, and we'll flip it over and put a scope on there. Okay, so you see it's starting to take shape now. We've got the GRS stock fitted. So our next step is to put our 30 mil rings on, pop our loophole on there and give it a run. So here's our finished product. 
a hell of an upgrade from what it was. I mean, it looks spectacular now. And really, if you visit the rifle range with a rifle like this, chances are you're going to draw a bit of a crowd. It's an impressive bit of kit to look at, but let's go and see what it does. Here we are in the Naya range. I've got the new upgraded 2506. Uh, and I'm going to be running some federal premium. They're 115 grain Nosler Petition. It's a bonded projectile. I do want to do some long range hunting with this rifle, so it's a perfect candidate. Hey, you see, the results speak for themselves. As I expected, you know, we haven't cut any corners here. We've gone for the GRS, we've gone for the loophole. It is top shelf stuff. Great gear, feels beautiful, shoots excellent. So, I couldn't be happier. So keep it in mind, when the wife says you can't buy a new rifle, you can always upgrade. Uh, try that one on her. Don't forget, you can visit us on our website, www.naya.com.au. You can visit us on YouTube at Naya TV. Follow us on Facebook at Naya TV. And of course, stalk us on Instagram at Naya underscore Australia. And I've got to say, fellas, it's good to see you looking back to normal. <laughs> you did last only 24 hours, just like Nigel said. So yeah, I guess that's yeah, a good yeah, thing. Yeah. I tell you what, HR isn't happy with him though. So, you know. <laughs> None of us are happy with him. When has anybody ever been, been happy, happy with no, that? That's true. But listen, we look forward to seeing you next time on Naya TV. TV.